Hello and welcome to this week's Live Local and Loud with me, Kevin Gorn. This week's show is an Access All Areas special where I shall be chatting to the organiser, Mr Luke Broughton. And we'll be playing lots of homegrown music by local bands. Hello and welcome. I hope you're all well and having a great week. Okay, so yes, um, today's show is a Access All Areas special. What is Access All Areas, I hear you ask? Well, it's a it's um, a sort of festival, a music festival, um, in aid of charity, in aid of the Bridge Homelessness to Hope charity. Um, it's going to be held over the Saturday and Sunday in July, Saturday the 9th and Sunday the 10th of July from about midday onwards on both days and there's an amazing lineup of bands who I shall be telling you about later. Uh, yeah, I'll be chatting to the organiser as well. Kicking things off on today's show is Michael Vickers who's playing on Sunday July the 10th at Access All Areas and Nothing Really Matters. Ago. Never to worry about the things that you can't change Looking forward is the only way to go Is there anything that woman didn't know? Never want to admit defeat Trying to find my destination stuck in a dream Knowing how we could before I ever get to where I should be But this it happens, nothing really matters Nothing really matters
was the wonderful Michael Vickers and Nothing Really Matters. There you go. Uh, we're now going to hear from Earls. Of course, they're playing Access All Areas. They're going to be playing on the Saturday. And it's Money for Meat, which reminds me, um, at Access All Areas, uh, there will be vegan and vegetarian food as well. And that's usually free. It was free last year. Absolutely delicious. Um, so I expect it will be free this year. So, yeah. Meanwhile, here's Earl's Money for Meat.
That was the wonderful Earls and Money for Meat. Absolutely fantastic band live. Seen them many times. Always put on a fantastic show. So they're going to be on the Saturday at uh, Access All Areas. Now I'm going to play the headliner at Access All Areas, Uncle Frank. He's on the Saturday. He'll be playing Last Thing Saturday night. Um, so here's Uncle Frank, Kiss and Tell. Uncle Frank Burnt Skies. Don't forget he's headlining Access All Areas. He's playing late on the Saturday night at Sunny Sunny Duffy's Bar. Okay, so now it's time for me to chat to lovely uh, Luke Broughton, the organiser of Access All Areas. But before I do, here's one of his very own songs. It's Luke Broughton and Burnt Skies. Dead of night 
is a plane taking flight And it's coming for the towns In the morning sun Comes a ripple Bodies on the ground oh. Shiva's machine guns with dead eyes, loved ones gone, and he cries for the children in bed. Alone, 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 alone. That was Burnt Skies by the choir boy from the skies himself, local singer-songwriter Luke Broughton, who's this week's special guest here on Live Local and Loud. Hello there, Luke. How the devil are you today? I'm good, thank you. Very good. Excellent, excellent. Um, Now, brilliant. Thank you very much for joining me on today's little show. I really appreciate you taking the time out because I'm sure you're a busy, busy man. Um, But let's start. Now, I I love your unique style, Luke. Just just tell us, how did did it come about? I don't know. I mean, it's sort of like, I guess it's just, I guess it's, it must stem slightly from some of the influences and things that I've really loved. Um, first and foremost, I didn't really start off as a singer, so I suppose 
I just started to sing to the songs that I really resonate with. So like Kate Bush was going to like early radio head and oh, right, yeah. stuff like that. Um, and I just kind of realised that I did have that voice and it felt really quite comfortable. What do you call it now? It's what's that octave thing? It's um, falsetto. Yeah, is that what it is? Yes, yes, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because um, I know your your dad was was um, quite a big rock star. What in the seventies? Um, did it, did he have a part to play in in your sound and influences, or did you go off on your own? I think he did definitely have a part to play in terms of my influences because I was very fortunate to grow up listening to all kinds of music that he introduced me to from. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's start early Neil Young through to Kraftwerk through to Peter Gabriel and kind of all kinds of electronic music in between. And so, yeah, I grew up listening to kind of everything. So, yeah, in, in many ways, the kind of music I grew up listening to definitely shaped me. And I suppose there's some of the vocal pipes there as well. Yeah. What what was it like um, growing up as the son of a, a rock star? Because he, he, he was pretty well known in those days, wasn't he? And his band, Luke Brow- um, Edgar Broughton. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I, I don't know. It felt kind. Of, it, it, it felt kind of normal to me. And I, I guess, like at a young age, I wasn't aware of the context or the magnitude of it at all. I just knew that he played music, you know. But I didn't. You, you don't really understand sort of scale and context at that age. No. I just I saw him playing music in the room, and he had synths, and we. I, and I think it was when I was older, and I started to sort of research a bit. I was like, oh wow, this band really did have. A, uh, quite quite a huge impact and and still do have like a like a, a resonant kind of cult following that sees them through really it's quite yeah. incredible brilliant and even when I went to gigs when I was really young it was kind of like it's just it, it was normal to go to those kind of gigs so I had no idea what other gigs were like mm. now he was of course in a band have you ever thought about being in a band or you prefer going solo I was I was in his band oh. uh, I talked I talked with them for over 10 years um, which was good fun. Um, we toured all over Europe. Um, and I, I guess, yeah, I do. I, I love collaborating. I kind of, I'm not entirely kind of enamoured by the, that fixed identity of a fixed band, but mm. I am playing with like a, a beautiful group of musicians at the moment. Um, and we'll, we'll be playing Access All Areas together with a choir as well. Brilliant. Um, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that a bit later. Okay, so we've just played one of your songs, Burnt Skies. Absolutely love that song. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about it? How did it come to be? What was the motivation behind it? I think a lot of the songs I was writing at the time were kind of quite autobiographical or certainly kind of concerned with like a very personal and intimate relationship I had with other people. And this was one where it, it was more about what was, was going on externally and like around the world from a distance and, 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 and just the, the, the hardship and suffering that people are enduring and that, that kind of um, discord and... Um, um, lack of safety and lack of security through war situations ultimately mm, that's um, quite interesting. and the fact it, it the profound effect it has on on the people that live there on the ground you know yeah now i remember playing it quite a while is, is it a few years mm. old now it is yeah yeah because it's it's quite relevant to today's situation pretty much isn't it i suppose it's always relevant uh, yeah, sadly i would say it is going to be always relevant for for the foreseeable future I hope it won't be one day. Um, now, I introduced you as a choir boy from the skies, which seems to be a common people refer to you as a, as a choir boy from the skies. What do you think about that comment? I like it. I, I'm happy with it. I've always felt a bit alien. So I, I like I think I think it was Kevin Hurick who said choir boy from the skies of another world. Yeah, um, I, it resonates with me. Uh, it, it feels kind of otherworldly, a lot of, of, of the kind of emotion and feel of it it's it's quite I think it's universal but it's ethereal it's not it's not any one kind of thing um I'm happy with it I like it yeah I think it's quite a good description because like when I've obviously I've seen you perform live quite a few times and it does like you say almost otherworldly that is sort of your initial sense it does seem a bit otherworldly um but it's so captivating you can't help um but just sit there and be drawn in by it for it's almost hypnotic actually I find your performances um okay so let's talk well we're going to talk about we're going to play another one of your songs and then we shall talk about your upcoming um gigs that you're organizing and your charity work but first of all let's play a letter um would you like to tell us a little bit about how this came about 
It's a, I think it's probably the saddest song I've ever written. Um, and I don't specifically quite know what I was saying. I know what I was feeling. Um, uh, and it's not, it's, 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 it's about, um, it's about a person, I guess, that I was in a relationship with. And it, it was, a, it was a letter to them and, and sort of sympathizing with their great and long lasting sadness. But it's, it's a, it's a letter to everyone who feels like that, really. Mm, absolutely. So here's a letter by Luke Broughton. Just another letter she opens a letter by the choir boy from the skies himself singer songwriter luke broughton who's this week's special guest here on live local and loud so luke before we talk about your charity work just a couple more um bits to do with music do what what do you think about the local music scene after lockdown has it got back to normal or do you think it's suffering a little bit i think it's suffering hugely um i think people got used to not going to these things 
And I think a lot of people are still fearful about returning to these things. COVID cases are still pretty high. A lot of shows have been cancelled due to bands dropping out or venues have had to close due to staff still having it. So people are very uncertain. Obviously, money is tighter than it's been for, for a very, very long time. But I think people have got out of the habit of sort of putting their money there as well. They're probably still putting it online and, you know, takeaways, restaurants are still doing OK. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's not returned. Definitely not. Uh, returned I, sp- I spoke to a promoter a couple of months ago and he was saying that one of the problems he's having is people buying tickets and then not turning up at the last yeah. minute. Yeah. So well, for whatever reason that might be. I mean, I suppose for the, I think COVID has a massive part to play in that. Um, mm. I suppose from the point of view of the charity, like it would it would be better people buying tickets and not turning up at the last minute than not buying tickets at the last minute. <laughs> if that makes sense. I suppose. But, you, I mean, that's a joke, but no, I mean it really honestly is it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a problem that we're all having to navigate right now. And I, I'm very sympathetic to that. It's a very different landscape we face now. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about your charity work now, um, Luke. So you do quite a bit of charity work. I noticed you do a lot of charity gigs. Um, yeah. Do you, you work for charities itself during the day or? or... Yeah, I work well. The, the, gig, the charity that we primarily raise money, well, entirely raise money for in the Access All Areas gigs is a charity called the Bridge Homelessness to Hope based on Milton Street um, near St. Matthews. And I, I, I've been working with them for like over a year coming up to two years delivering like arts and music sessions there mm. okay and what what got you into that um well i used to also work for like um an organization that was called um perfectly edible which was a place where we kind of took in unwanted food and kind of recycled it redistributed it and kind of cooked it as well and gave it out to people things like that um person i used to work with there moved to the bridge and said do you fancy coming down here, checking it out? I did a bit of volunteering and then I was like, this is actually, I really like it here. It's a really, really good project. So. Oh, okay. All right. So now your gig, as you've mentioned a few times, you're organising the huge Access All Areas, Mark III. Um, yeah. Now, how did that, was Was that just a, a natural sort of um, progression of you working um, at the homeless charity place? You thought, oh, I need to help. I'll organise a gig. How did that come about? Well, yeah, because I think because I'm sort of delivering music and stuff there and we're really trying to sort of encourage creative expression and know how how beneficial that is to mental health issues. It felt really like a nice symbolism to to use like a music event to raise money for that there. Mm. Um, So that's what that's what we did. That's true. And yours, because I obviously I've been to uh, the first one and the second one and they're not I suppose they're strictly speaking. They're not all just music, are they? It's spoken word. There's um, other bits and bobs. Yeah, I mean this 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 year, we, this this time round, we have we have amongst the finest spoken word artists across the Midlands, like really incredible, like Jemima Hughes from Birmingham, she's absolutely extraordinary. James Scott House, Kathy Ray. So there's, yeah, there's a there's a nice quote of spoken word there as well. Yeah, it's it's a it's a thing. It's a festival for for all the senses, really, isn't it? Rather than just yeah. A, a, yeah, a gig okay and so this year's performance so who have you got performing this year so you've got some big headliners on the yeah well, on the saturday we've got uncle frank headlining wow. uh uncle with, frank so of yeah. course and who and he he normally drums who does he normally drum for he, he drums in the fun loving criminals wow so uh, he's he's more used to festivals and the O2 Academies and that sort of sure. thing. Sure, yeah. So it's really cool that he's agreed it, and he, he's you know he's obviously down with the cause. We've had a good chat about it, and, that, and that's really great. So that yeah, Saturday he's headlining, and then we've got, we've got um, Earls are playing, People yeah. Assembly, uh, Jemima Hughes, James Scott Howes, Kathy Ray, JJ Lovegrove, Echo Location are playing the Saturday too. Uh, Kevin Hewitt so opening up the Bridge Band themselves are playing the Saturday. Oh wow which will be amazing. Um, yeah. And then we've got the Sunday, which I'm headlining. Uh, we've also got Andrea Kenny. We've got um, Guru, Mello Baku, Michael Vickers, mm-hmm. and Courtney Askey. Uh, it's, it's great. It's a good lineup. That's amazing. It's a huge lineup, Luke. I don't it know is. how you managed to pull that off. That's amazing. And all well, in a tiny little venue. Yeah. I'm very fortunate. I know some beautiful people that, have, that, that are... Um, that are happy to kind of give their time and, and their talent for such things. But I feel very fortunate. Yeah. It couldn't, I, mean, I think it is the lineup of the year. I have to say. Mm. 
I, I wouldn't disagree there. Um, but such a tiny venue. So that's great because obviously that the atmosphere is just going to be just amazing out of this world. Um, but what about next year? You thought about maybe upscaling it, putting it on a bigger venue? I think, it, I mean, I, I yeah, it's something I would think about, but I kind of like, it depends because I really like who I'm working with because like people like Matt Kirk and, and, and Kat at Firebug and, are so good, you know, mm. and so supportive and so generous with their time and giving us the venue and stuff that that kind of means a lot. And I kind of like the way it is right now. But I don't know. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all for consideration. That's true. I mean, you could do it at both Firebug and Duffy's, couldn't you? Because I've been to gigs where they've done that. We've definitely talked about that. I think this is not the year to, to attempt it, but no. it's something that I would definitely look at. Um, and you're also doing a couple of other things, aren't you? You're performing at Western Park this year. In, that's in July. I've kind of just been added to the bill very late on. So I'm playing the main stage at half five um, and that's on July the 30th. So I'm very looking, very much looking forward to that. I'll be playing that with the band as well. So it'd be, that'd be great. Oh, Luke Broughton and his band. I didn't know you had a band. Well, it's it's a collective. It's a musical family. We right. play together from time to time. I see. Oh, lovely. Okay, so yeah, Western Park Festival. Of course, that's in Western Park itself, just off Hinkley Road. I love that. It's really good uh, musically. It's absolutely great. Of course, it's a all day thing for with kids and all the rest of it, playgrounds and all the rest of that. So yeah, it's a great, great day out. Um, and that's on the um, that's on thirtieth of July. And then, yeah. of course, you've got your um, your events at the Donkey. Just briefly, what's that about? So I kind of started running a night called Take the Stage, which is it's a performance night. Um, I suppose you could call it an open mic, but it's a little more than that. And it's it's basically like what I really wanted to do was like give that iconic venue like a night where we, we can have new emerging talent coming through and kind of encourage all kinds of different art forms. We've had like comedians, magicians, both word, punk bands, the hip hop collectives book for next month. Um, that's on the third Thursday of, of every month. Um, and it's free. Um, so, yeah, just book up your spot to perform at music at gmail.com. And it's, it's been fantastic so far. We've got the fifth one coming up. Wow, um, brilliant. I, I should it. just mention for Access All Areas, it's obviously it's Saturday and Sunday, July 9th and 10th. Tickets are on sale now at www.brownpapertickets.com. It is £18 only for the weekend. It is £12.50 for Saturday and £10 for Sunday. Okay, brilliant. So how can people follow you and find out more about your various antics? So you can go to my Facebook page at Luke Broughton Official. You can find me on Instagram at Luke underscore Broughton underscore. Uh, You can go to the bridge, Leicester, to find out more about the work that we actually do and what your money will be going to. If and when you do buy your ticket for access all areas, Mm. www.bridgeleicester.org. And there's loads of information about all the great work we're doing there as well. Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Luke. And I very much look forward to seeing you at Duffy's on July the 9th and the 10th for your Access All Areas Mark III. Can't wait for that because the last two were really, really, really good. So, yeah, looking forward to it. That was me chatting to the wonderful Luke Broughton, singer-songwriter, but mostly chatting about his Access All Areas uh, charity festival that's coming up in July on the 9th and the 10th. Here's another band that will be playing. This lot will be playing on the 9th, that's Saturday the 9th. It's Echo Location and Barking.
that was the wonderful Echo Location and Barking. You can see them on Saturday, the July the 9th um, at Sunny Duffy's Bar as part of Access All Areas. Uh, speaking about Access All Areas, let's have another track uh, from a band that are playing Access All Areas. It's Guru and a nice bit of psychedelia, electro psychedelia here, I like to call them. Guru and Kingdom Within. And if you want to see them, they're going to be on the Sunday, the 10th of July at Access All Areas. So here's Guru, Kingdom Within. <laughs>
the wonderful Guru Kingdom Within. And don't forget they're playing on the Sunday, Sunday, Ju uh, July the 10th at Duffy's Bar at the Access All Areas gig. Um, okay, so here's now, here's a little bit of Mr. Kevin Hewick, a local legend. He really is one of Leicester's local legends. Uh, he's going to be on the Saturday at Access All Areas. Um, so here's him and one of his songs, A Young Man's Dreams of Revolution. He slept beneath the flag Of a homeland that he never had And dreamt a young man's dream Of revolution He was brave at the barricades He was the firebrand who seized the day He was a young man's dream of revolution In the taverns the opinions flowed As freely as the ale and wine Young men's dreams Of revolution His was the loudest voice of all so unafraid to speak his mind About a young man's dream Of revolution the vision through his eyes Did you see the radiance in his mind The young man's dream Of revolution He stood before the crowd and cried The choice is fight or die for a young man's dream of revolution Beneath the flag Of the homeland that he never had Dreams a young man's dream Of revolution He was brave at the barricades He was the firebrand who led the way to a young man's dream Of revolution That was the great legend himself, Mr. Kevin Hewick and A Young Man's Dreams of Revolution. Don't forget he can be seen on Saturday the 9th of July at the wonderful Access All Areas Festival. That brings us to the end of another Live Local and Loud with me, Kevin Gorn. I hope you enjoyed the show. 
don't forget if you want to hear any of these interviews over again or any previous shows check out musicinleicester.co.uk and you'll see them on the right hand side in a lovely little playlist also if you want to see what live music's coming up in lovely leicestershire check out our gig guide in musicinleicester.co.uk so I'll see you next Thursday here at Hermitage FM. Do have a great week and I'll see you then. Yeah.